Hello everybody, it's Joe, and welcome to the second episode of my Minecraft survival series. Yes, episode two, we've come so far. Who, who boy. But, that's how series work. Um, off camera, I did my auto fishing, and I got a bunch of stuff, right, like, I got a Unbreaking 3 Luck of the C3 and Mending Fishing Rod, and also had a Mending one that I was using that had nothing else on it, but I'm gonna start using this one now. I've also made some farms, like a pumpkin farm, a wheat farm, a potato farm, and a carrot farm, and a sugarcane farm that will give me two stacks of sugarcane every time I do like a full harvest. My villager breeder hasn't been working that well. I don't know why, it's pro I'm assuming it's because I haven't been giving them enough food to be able to breed, but that's just a assumption. I'm not sure. Um, I tried looking into it, that's the only explanation I could find. So I hope it'll get working, because I want to like start setting up a whole like trading hall of villagers so I can start getting my stuff. So off camera... I was wandering around and I stumbled upon a taiga village. I'm gonna swipe this grindstone because I'd like to have one. And oh, this is a, interesting. I apparently haven't been here to this one, but one of these houses has a really nice, really good chest. One of these blacksmiths. There's a lot of blacksmiths right here. Look at this. There's seven obsidian some bread four diamonds like that's crazy really good oh hello oh <laughs> look at him taking a bath I'm not gonna give him water he's gonna take a dry bath now I'm going to start building my villager pods so I'm gonna have the pod and then behind them I'm gonna have like a zombie who can like come and turn my villagers into zombies and then I'll cure them so I can get like discounted traits. So what I was thinking was I'm gonna have, so I'm not gonna do the part with the zombie now, but uh, so I'm just gonna build the structure itself. Um, Maybe something like this, and then I'll have cobblestone. I don't have cobblestone. I need cobblestone. Oh, I have some cobblestone. Not that much, though. And then have cobblestone like that for each villager. The workstation will go here. I'll have planks as the floor. Like that. I think that looks decent. You won't really see the cobblestone on the ground though, so maybe I'll just build the whole inside out of cobblestone. And the floor doesn't really matter because you probably won't be able to see it that well, but I'm just gonna fret over. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll just make it the ground look nice around the area. So, time to get the villager in here. To get the villager out of the little pod, I'm gonna use a minecart, but he doesn't seem to want to get into this minecart. Hello? We got this block here. Put the minecart there. Why are you on the other side? Maybe put the minecart on him. No. What? What is this? Here's my shovel. I need my shovel. What is this? I don't want to have to deal with this again. It was so bad before. Alright. Go. Get in the minecart. Mr. Villager. What are you doing? So get in the minecart. There we go. Jeez. Louise. That's maybe it's because I only have one villager here. And he's standing so he can like stand in the middle of the block. 
Now let me patch this hole up so <laughs> so that the new baby villagers won't be able to get out. All right. Like that, and then destroy the minecart. He's in there. Now I gotta get the minecart back. So I've decided to make this guy a librarian who will trade me paper or emeralds for paper, but I don't know why his prices are so high right now. And let's see if I can get like one who has better trades for paper, like a lower price. So take this out, wait for him to lose his job, put it back. Oh, did he trade? Mend it. Oh, okay. For 12 emeralds, if he decides to lower his price for whatever. Okay. That's weird. I don't know why his prices are raised. Is it because I have a bad reputation in the village? But like, I didn't kill any villagers. It's strange. Alright. Well. We'll just build the rest of the pod. Or I'll build the rest of the pods. Alright. I am back. And I have gathered quite a few villagers. As you can see. For whatever reason. Or well. These guys got loose. And then they like linked to uh, some workstations over here. They should be switching back to like unemployed. They should be. I don't know. If I put blocks here, maybe they'll disconnect. I have a few workstations. Um, so the grindstone is going to get me a weaponsmith. So he will give me like an axe and a sword. The smithing table will get me a toolsmith, and he'll get me... Oh? Oh? What just happened with you? Why'd you switch? I don't want to trade emeralds for things. But he'll give me an axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. So, for some reason he unlinked to... His... See, look, these guys, these guys are unlinked from their workstations. And then I'm getting a cartographer, so that I can get, like, Ocean Explorer maps and Woodland Explorer maps. Alright, now let me link you back up, or let me... There we go. I'm actually gonna trade with him. So that he keeps his trade. One, two, three, four, five. Is he gonna level up? Yes, he did. Oh look, he gave me a discount. Or a bell. And so, yeah, the armor smith or the weapon smith. I don't want to trade. Or, wait, I'm not sure what his trades are, but I don't think. I think he can give trades that are not for emeralds at the beginning. Alright, so I'm going to try to get my weapon smith to give me a trade for coal. Yeah. Then let me just lock in the trade. Um, I have farmers that trade for wheat, carrots. I have one that trades for pumpkins. And then I have one that trades for potatoes and beetroot. And I have the cartographer to get the maps I want. And then I have my mending librarian. I'm going to probably turn these other guys into librarians as well to see if I can get some other good books. These villagers here have been busy, as you can see. So I'll do some trading with these guys, and I'll get back. Oh yeah, if I didn't show you, this villager has a book for a curse of binding. I'm not getting it though, because like, no. What am I going to use it for? If you ever have a lot of seeds, you can just put them into the composter. can't do anything with poisonous potatoes. Oh look, I've gotten my cartographer to give me an ocean explorer map. That'll be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.
video. Bye.